The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 3.11, for other foundation can no man lay than that is laid, which is Jesus Christ. Now, if any man build upon this foundation, gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, stubble, every man's work shall be made manifest for the day shall declare it because it shall be revealed by fire and the fire shall try every man's work of what sort it is. So he's saying you, you start with a foundation of Jesus Christ right? Everyone who's saved has Jesus as their foundation. Jesus is your rock. That is where you start from. You start with your faith on Jesus Christ. He's your foundation. You can't be moved with Jesus as your foundation. You can't lose that foundation. Once that's set, it's set. It's set in stone. You're, you, you are saved. But what you choose to do with the rest of your life, every other work that you do in this world, we're building on the foundation of as being a born again Christian on the foundation of Christ. And he's saying, hey, if you're, if you're building on this gold, silver, precious stones or, or, or wood, hay, and stubble, you can build any of these. You could use all these materials, but they're not all going to last. You can do all kinds of things with your life after you're born again. You can do different works or no works. You can do whatever in this life, but when it comes down to the time of your work being made manifest, of being made known, hey, what is it that I did with my life? Well, it's all going to be gathered together one day at the judgment seat of Christ. Look at verse number 14. It says, If any man's work abide, which he hath built thereupon, he shall receive a reward. So the fire is going to try your work. And in that list of things, wood, hay, and stubble, they get burned up by fire. They're not going to last. They're going to evaporate or go into nothing. So if you've done a lot of work in this life, but it was all just wood and hay and stubble, you're not going to get anything for that. You didn't really do anything of value for God. Yeah, you lived a life. Yeah, you might have worked. Yeah, you might have accumulated a bunch of money, a bunch of paper, right? That would fall in the wood category. Oh, man, look, I made $5 million. Boom, look at what I did that with my life. Look at all that work I put into that. Isn't that great? That's a great nest egg, right? God's going to put the flame to that and go, Phew. all right, there you go. You have big, fat nothing. And then the people who didn't have a lot of money, but they're out there, you know, winning people to Christ and, and serving the Lord in and, and, and various capacities, they're going to have the gold and the silver and the precious stones that even through the fire, they're going to they're gonna come out in the end going, cool, this is good, this lasted. And they're going to receive of God. They're going to get a reward. And look at verse number 15, though. It says, if any man's work shall be burned, he shall suffer loss. It's a loss. It's a loss of time. It's a loss of your life, of it just it, metaphorically speaking, in that, what did I do with my life? Nothing that really mattered, obviously, because it's all burned up. Say, so if, if, if any of your work is burned, that's a loss. Because you could have been doing things where you'd be rewarded from it. Instead, you've lost all that effort that you put in to those things that mean nothing. But look what it says. But he himself shall be saved, yet so is by fire. So the fire tries up all your work, but you know what? He's still saved. So think about this. If a saved person is an unprofitable servant in the sense that he doesn't do anything and all of his works are burned up, is he going to be cast into the lake of fire? No. No. Yet he himself is saved, yet so is by fire. He's still saved. You can have nothing and enter into the kingdom of God because you're saved, because you have the foundation of Christ. The person in Matthew 25 that we're reading about doesn't have Christ as his foundation. He says, I knew you, but, you know, they knew God, but he glorified him not as God. It became vain in their imaginations. Their foolish heart was darkened. That's more what the unprofitable servant is being referred to in Matthew 25 not the person who actually trusted and believed. 